Chapter 1.4.4, Computer Science 101. All computer program specifications are abstract, subjective, and arbitrary. The potential for analytical bias regarding Bitcoin is especially noteworthy considering how proof of work was first and foremost described by computer scientists as a cybersecurity protocol for 15 years preceding the release of Bitcoin. Computer scientists have been researching proof-of-work concepts since the early 1990s, but this is less common knowledge, perhaps because when the design concept was first introduced, it wasn't called proof-of-work. Like all design specifications, proof-of-work was an arbitrary name that emerged several years after the design concept was first introduced in academic literature. Speaking of arbitrary names and design specifications, the first formally published paper to introduce the term proof of work originally called it bread pudding. Reference 27. Other papers called it a pricing function, client puzzle, or a stamp. Reference 2526. Like all software specifications, the names assigned to programs which implement proof-of-work designs, to include the name proof-of-work itself, are arbitrary derived metaphors based on the, personal, the personal whim of the inventor. A foundational principle of computer theory is that software is an abstraction. Therefore, all software specifications use semantically ambiguous and arbitrary descriptions. <clears throat> software engineers arbitrarily and subjectively choose how to describe their software based on what information is important to share about their design. Some engineers choose names based on the software's intended use case. Some choose names to emphasize design concepts. In either case, the name is arbitrary. In fact, even the term software itself is arbitrary. Reference 30. The names and descriptions that software engineers use to describe the design and functionality of their computer programs are not intended to be technically accurate. It's impossible to produce a technically precise description of an abstract concept like software. The names used are intended to make it easier for people to understand the program's intended use case and desired complex emergent behavior, which may not be the program's primary use case in the future.